All right, let's make sure everything is set up and ready to go for the live stream. Okay, can you hear me? Just kidding. Not live streaming today. As I've had something come up and uh, I needed to make time to be with my family. Oh, which is something you should do too. No, 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 no. Not yet. Stay and watch this video first, then go be with your family. Better yet, watch this with your family. Maybe grab some popcorn. Hey everybody, it's Shino, and I am back here on the Rusty Gears SMP server. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. In today's video, we're going to get caught up on what's happening here on the server. Uh, we'll check out what's been going on, see some new sites, and maybe even learn a few things. Are you ready? Let's go. We're going to start off right outside my andesite quarry. Uh, this is the Resonance Archive uh, dungeon for Vintage Story. Uh, we've started it, but we uh, haven't finished it yet. We need to get together and do another run through it. So now let's head back over to the spawn area. First stop, the spawn area. The community center is always a great area to get ganked by a bear. So the angel belt makes touring it a lot easier quicker and kind of gives us a different perspective of things. Um, I really like the way the community centers come out. Per has done an amazing job. Um, she has uh, still working on getting the roofs done, but I think we'll be finishing it up here pretty quick. It's almost like you're flying over the area, huh? But without any of the dangers. Uh, speaking of different perspective, let's take a look at Andy Days' castle and shopping area. He's created his own little mini medieval city over here with shops and little hidden nooks and crannies to explore. And uh, we'll head over here. This is Punk Hole's shop called One Man's Junk. I kept saying we ought to call it Punk's Junk. Uh, but uh, he sells some great stuff here. Stuff that uh, he collects from their different ruins. Always some interesting finds. Uh, while we're here, let's run over to Punk's place to see how it's looking. Yeah, he's put a lot of detail work going into this build. While we're here, let's run on up to my B&B. I need to finish the pathway up here and not sure if I'm keeping this entry or not. I do like this house, but it needs some detail work done to it still to really make it pop. Now let's head out east to see the progress at Fort Food and the stables area. I mean, who doesn't love horses and food? Just make sure to keep your eye out for creepers. We don't want to get blown up, now do we? Wait, wait, wrong game. Fort Food was built by Kurazar, and uh, he built a little Herobrine monument here uh, from my April Fool's army. That <laughs> still cracks me up. Let's head over to the stables and the racetrack area. Another beautiful and fun build by Andy Days and Punkle. Uh, fun area to get together. Uh, we did some horse racing a while back. We need to do that again. Now, let's head back to the community center and jump through the teleporter to the east side. Let's start over by Kendi's castle. Uh, her last video, she showed some of the detail work that goes into her build. Make sure you go check it out. This area is where a majority of our food on the east side comes from because it's much cooler over here. Now, heading back towards the center district, we have stables and a greenhouse built by Andy Dace. Uh, while we are here, I need to make sure to feed my pony, Winnie. Hello, princess. You happy to see me? <laughs> she, she said nay. That's rude. 
And of course, on the east side, we have tree climbing donkeys over here. I don't talk to him much because he's being an ass. And of course, we can't forget about the dome. Uh, the pathway is becoming more of a focal point. I've added these flower bed areas along the side, trying to keep the shorter plants towards the front of the bed and the taller plants towards the back. I've been hard at work gathering the last of the quartz and glass needed to complete it. I think I've got enough now. And I've completed up to level 50 of 65. So only 15 more levels to go and this thing will be closed up. The center tower is coming along too with doors and stairs completed on the ground floor. Uh, I've even decided to use external staircases to connect the sub level to the ground level. So I'll be putting those in soon. And the second level is still kind of in design. Uh, I want it to be more contoured and maybe have like a stained glass style panel on two of the sides. Should be amazing. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but don't worry. There will be more streams and videos coming soon, so make sure to like and subscribe for more Vintage Story content. And if you have any suggestions or ideas for what you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.